The Great Lakes Megalopolis consists of the group of North American metropolitan areas which surround the Great Lakes region and St. Lawrence Seaway. It is mainly within the Midwestern United States, the southern Ontario area of Canada, along with large parts of Pennsylvania, New York, and Quebec. It is the largest and most populated megalopolis in North America. The region cuts a wide swath from Minneapolis to Pittsburgh and extends from the Duluth Superior Corridor, through the Green Bay Cornea Conto Corridor, the Milwaukee Chicago Corridor through the South Bend Lansing Kalamazoo Corridor to the Detroit Euro Toledo Corridor, and the Quebec City Euro Windsor Corridor and includes Cleveland, Akron, Erie, Fort Wayne, Grand Rapids, Ottawa, and Buffalo, reaching as far east as Rochester and Johnstown, and as far west as the Twin Cities. The region had an estimated population of 59,144,461 as of 2011. It is projected to reach a population of approximately 65 million by 2025. There is substantial overlap between the megalopolis and the once heavily industrial region known as the Rust Belt. However, the megalopolis and the Rust Belt are not entirely coextensive, and some metropolitan areas may be considered part of one region but not the other. History of the concept The region was partially outlined as an emergent megalopolis in the 1961 book Megalopolis, the urbanized northeastern seaboard of the United States by French geographer Jean Gutmann. Gutmann envisaged the development of other megalopolis in the U.S. Boss Wash, from Boston to Washington, D.C., Chipitz from Chicago to Pittsburgh, and San San, from San Francisco to San Diego. In 1965, Herman Kahn speculated about the future of the three megalopolis in the year 2000, referring to their names as half frivolous, and not mentioning Gutman. In the 1960s and 1970s, urban planner and architect Constantinos Doxiades authored books, studies, and reports including those regarding the growth potential of the Great Lakes Megalopolis. Doxiades envisioned Detroit as the central urban area in the Great Lakes Megalopolis. According to him, the megalopolis extended from Milwaukee and Chicago to Detroit, Pittsburgh and Buffalo and into Canada from Windsor to Montreal and Quebec. The Virginia Tech Metropolitan Institute's Beyond Megalopolis, an attempt to update Gutman's work outlined a similar Midwest megapolitan area as one of ten such areas in the United States. Over 200 million tons of cargo are shipped annually through the Great Lakes. Half the nation's population growth and two-thirds of its economic growth is expected to occur within the mega-regions over the next four decades. The America 2050 project has identified 11 mega-regions of the United States, including the Great Lakes megalopolis. In Canada, Parts of the region are also referred to as the Quebec Cite Euro Windsor Corridor. Economy According to the Brookings Institution, if it stood alone as a country, the economy of the Great Lakes region, which includes most of the Great Lakes megalopolis, would be one of the largest economic units on Earth. The Great Lakes contain one fifth of the world's surface fresh water and have a combined shoreline of 10,210 miles. About 200 million tons of cargo are shipped by way of the Great Lakes each year. Tourism is an important economic factor in and around the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes Cruising Coalition supports passenger ship cruises through a joint U.S.-Canadian venture to Great Lakes ports and the St. Lawrence Seaway. Population centers. Notes, A. A various sources include Montreal and Ottawa in the megalopolis, while excluding Minneapolis Euro St. Paul, Kansas City, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Louisville, and Columbus. Gallery. See also, Combined Statistical Area, Census Metropolitan Area, Conurbation, Great Lakes, Megalopolis, Mega Regions of the United States, Quebec City Euro Windsor Corridor. References.